640. I'm thinking I spend time with God till like 715 and then I start getting ready for church. So let's do that. So funny my watch like vibrates to wake me up. I'm already out. I can hear my parents' alarm. LOL. It is now 7 a.m. Alright, alright, alright. Now I'm just gonna go shower and then I'm gonna start getting ready. I want to leave the house by like 8.45 so I can actually be at church, at church on time. Okay, so I'm all done showering. I'm a firm believer in putting back on the clothes that you have when you showered until you pick out your clothes for the day um if you're against that that's all right but i'm a very firm believer because how else are you supposed to pick your clothes naked no and I, especially that's why i wear oversized t-shirts because then i just get to like just be my oversized tee you know what i mean let's go pick out my outfit for today And just like that, the sun is rising up. But we do not have the time to wait for the sun to rise up. So we're gonna turn on the lights and be crazy people. Like, do you guys ever wonder what cavemen did? They literally had to wait for the sun to be up, bro, to do anything, that's crazy. That probably meant that they didn't do anything early, which honestly, I kind of crave. <laughs> I am a very hard, like, person. I mean, I'm not, but like, when it comes to my outfits, I am. Like, I'm not easy to please. So, let me check the weather actually. Because the weather is a very big part in this process. If I want to be comfortable, I want to look at the weather. But I also want to be inside all day at church. So it's like, do I really care about the weather? Mm, not that much. It's 7.30 by the way. So, I'm actually doing pretty good on time. It's gonna be like 30. And a little bit sunny, so okay. Don't really care about the weather today. Um, let's just pick a fit that we think is cute. Okay, so I I've been wanting to do a really cute jacket for a little bit, but this one looks really businessy, and I don't want to wear a businessy jacket. But also, this is church, so I'm like, I don't know. Um. I'm really bad at picking out, not, not, yeah, I'm bad at picking outfits for church. I never know what to wear. Um, indie church outfits, I don't know, that might help me. I'm not a skirt girly, but like, um, I wish I was. So, oh wow, my thing is really tilting. 
Um, the man, the myth, the legend, the closet is here. Um, I have a couple fancy shirts in here. Like for example, I don't know, like what's a shirt that I could like style up? That's my thing. I'm thinking more of a brownish like outfit. Okay, so that means that I'm probably gonna wear this. So I'm just gonna get these pants and then my vest that's out there. You see guys, I love my Instagram. You know why? Because I just got outfit inspiration. So this is what I wore to the send. Um, basically, I have the vest thing that I just showed you, but I doubled it with the brown shirt. You see that right there? And then I have brown pants. So let's go get that right now. And honestly, sometimes all you need is just fancy shoes to step up the outfit. So that is what we're gonna do today. And you guys will see the end result later. But let's pick a bag. I am a fan. I'm a fan of famine. I am a fan of accessorizing outfits with bags. And to die. I don't know. What are you thinking? Okay. Yeah. Time to come out. Here's a look at it, guys. So the shoes. Can you guys even see that well? I don't know. Um, so yeah, so the shoes and then we have the brown pants and then we have the shirt that's inside of this and then we have the tote I think that looks pretty good. So let's do our makeup and then we'll put the outfit on So boys and men both see the way that we carry ourselves and that is why women attract men and girls attract boys <laughs> so let me expand into that like little boys they don't go towards the girl that's confident and the girl that um knows who she is and the girl that will not take anything from anybody and the girl that um like knows who she is and she has a good head on her shoulders like they can see her and they see me and they're like oh yeah no i, I cannot play games but they see the girl that's not really securing herself and that kind of just wants somebody, you know what I mean? Like some physical touch and stuff like that. And she's, you know, all over the place. And they're like, oh, okay, yeah, this is one that I can get. And that's the reality of like the mind of men. Like some of them just want a girlfriend, not men, boys. Some of them just want a girlfriend. And they know that like girlfriend does not always equal wife. And that's the truth. But like some of them just want somebody that they can get stuff out of and that's like the world but sometimes even christian christian guys and christian boys and christian men like some of them just don't know what they want well like i was saying like when you carry yourself in a way that little boys can know that they cannot have you they're not going to approach you like that's when that's why when a woman is confident they're intimidated because they know that that woman knows who she is and she's not going to take crap from anybody <laughs> including them even if they're cute or whatever like i don't care if you're cute <laughs> If your spirit is not pretty and if you don't truly love God for real. And that's also another thing, y'all. Like, a lot of these men, like, I literally go to a Christian university. And a lot of these guys, like, they don't freaking love God for real. And I'm like, like, it was really a culture shock to me. It was, like, so surreal. I was like, God, really? Even at a Christian school? And he was like, yup. Um, ungodliness is everywhere. And I was like, you know what, God? You're right. <laughs> you're so for real. Because... It's like, why did I think that being at a Christian school was gonna make anything different? I mean, it should, but <laughs> truly, what did I think? Like, it's a lot of worldliness there too. And that's why like, God's like, be the difference even in the midst of the difference. Oh, that's really freaking good. Like, be the difference even in the midst of the difference. Like, you can be in the church, you can be in a school that's Christian and for Christ, but there's still like no light, you know what I mean? So you have to be that light in the midst of the lights, the lights, you know what I mean? Everybody's Christian nowadays, you guys know this, everybody's Christian. But it's like, they don't actually love God for reals. But yeah, so I just had to learn that it's not a me issue. It's an issue of, it's an issue of Christian guys not actually being Christian for real. And being intimidating of a, being intimidated of a woman of God because they know that they're not a man of God yet. Like, when you know that you're not a man of God yet and you just want a girlfriend, you're going to go for a girlfriend and you're going to get a girlfriend. Like, if I really wanted to, I could have a boyfriend right now, but... Like, I know myself, and I know God, and he's just, there's been so much divine intervention by God, because he knows. And it's like, I wonder why nobody gives me attention, but then I literally ask God, I'm like, God, don't let anybody come in my life until my future husband. And I'm like, God, really, I just want a crush. He's like, girl, you asked for a husband, not a crush. <laughs> you asked for a husband. Like, the husband's not going to be a freaking crush that just comes and goes, like, you know what I mean? So he's really building me up to receive my husband and I'm really glad that he's 
that he's doing that because Lord know that Lord knows I need it. Things are not always how they seem, you know. And this is the Christian girl talk, and things are really not all the how they seem all the time. Like sometimes you not getting any attention from men is really God's protection from the devil. <laughs> like because sometimes the devil, especially somebody that loves for real, you know what I mean. When you're a Christian, there's a different kind of love that you should have for people, and it's like it's a deeper love. Like especially for me, like I know that I love people really hard when I love them. And God knows that, and the, the enemy knows that also. Like, the enemy knows that my, people are my weakness, you know what I mean? And um, so sometimes the enemy, well, all the time, the enemy will fight and will put people in your life that are not even from God. Let's say you prayed for something, like this happened to me before. Like, I prayed for some God to bring some good friends in my life, and I pray for it out loud and all this stuff. Like, the enemy can hear our prayers out loud. Um, he just can't, he can't read our mind, but he can hear our prayers, and it's like, when you pray for those things out loud, sometimes the enemy will bring people, and they're always going to be good people, but are they going to be the right people? Mm -mm -mm. Like, even with guys, like, the enemy's always going to bring good guys, but are they the right guys? That's the whole question, y'all. Like, and no, they're not. It's like the enemy's not going to bring a bad guy that's toxic right away. No, he's going to bring a good guy disguised. It's like a sheep in wolf's clothing, you know what I mean? He's going to bring a guy that is going to be loving, is going to love bomb you, is going to be so, so, so Christian and all this stuff. But like in reality, he came to like, you know, like destroy you, like through with like the enemy came inside of him to destroy you. And you didn't notice because he was a good guy. But it's like, that's why you pray that prayer, which is very hard to pray. But it's like, God, remove them if they're not from you, because God will do it like this. That prayer he answers he answers so freaking quickly. I've been getting ready so slow. It's not even funny But yeah, um Like my first like last year of college it wasn't as bad as this year because this year um, A lot of my friends had relationships or like had situationships But I was surrounded by them. So I was like, okay God like Why do I and then this is why this is when um God's like truth about me and God's love started to not feel like enough. And I told him that straight up, which was I think the hardest thing that I ever had to do in my life was telling God, like I was literally sitting in a prayer room one day and I was like, God, your love doesn't feel like enough anymore. And I like, I didn't want to say it out loud, but obviously he already knew, but it's like saying it out loud and saying it to him instead of other people is like a whole different thing. You know what I mean? Cause like I admitted to him that like, wow, God, like I want a relationship and like, I don't feel like you're enough for me right now. And I feel like after I admitted that he was like, okay. And we were on the same wavelength then because sometimes you just gotta say things out loud to God because we love to say it to other people, but not to him. And he's like, just come to me, bro. <laughs> like, I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear what you're thinking, but it's hard to admit to him that he's not enough anymore. You know what I mean? Like that's hard. So. I understand why it took me so long to do it, but after I admitted it, like, I feel like God truly was able to work on my life and to help me to not, like, to help it not be so difficult. Like, one thing that my counselor told me was, when you accept that, when you wake up and it's no longer head knowledge, but heart knowledge, that you're chosen by God every single day, people not choosing you is... It doesn't hurt as much anymore, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, like, signif as significant anymore, because it's like, wow. Uh, you wake up every day and it's like the creator of the universe that created me and that created everything else in the heavens wants to be in communion with me and thinks that i'm enough and i'm worthy and i'm chosen by him every single day when you realize that that's the truth every single day and it's not just head knowledge but it's heart knowledge and you believe it to your core people not choosing you is so much like so so little you know what i mean i look want to start a podcast guys what do you think what do you think? I can talk for hours. But yeah, and we talked about this because we realized that a really deep root of hurt for me was people choosing other people over me. Like when I was little, my one of my friends picked a boy over me. And then I didn't realize that that like bled into, oh, I put a lot of highlights. I did not realize until I was talking to her and the Holy Spirit revealed it that like a root of hurt of like obviously rejection and of like people choosing other people over me was like a root of hurt and which was really interesting to hear honestly. Um, I recommend everybody to go to therapy and to go to counseling because God works through that for real. 
Um, and when we realized that, I literally was like, wow, I did not know. So, um, it was really interesting to see how that was, that was a thing, you know what I mean? And then she just told me that, like, girl, when you realize that God chooses you every single day, people not choosing you is not as significant anymore. And she's so right, because yes, people matter. Yes, people are this and this and that. I love people. But, like, at the end of the day, like, God is the one that chooses me every single day. God's the one that's unwavering. And God's the one that's going to love me forever. And if I... If if I don't realize that he chooses me every single day and that's enough, then I'm never going to, like, I'm never going to feel like enough. You know what I mean? Because people are going to fail me over and over and over and over and over again. So we got to realize that. Holy God. <sighs> What a time it's been, guys. We're almost done with the makeup. It is 8 a.m. Honestly, I feel like I should wake up earlier now. I think this was the first day where I did this on a Sunday. I've never woken up this early on a Sunday. I was watching this girl, and she was like, you get addicted to how it feels to wake up before the sun. And I was like, you're freaking lying, right? And I woke up today earlier than the sun, and I was like, wait, that's it's kind of nice. It's like, it's kind of it's kind of like you have a little bit of control over your morning, even though you really don't. It seems like you do. Okay, and the next thing is to do my hair. So I think, I don't know what style I wanna to do today, but we'll figure something out. Okay. Okay, um, I'm thinking, I don't know what style to do for my hair today. Um, I think, I have a look, you wanna do the um, little pony you have to have down. All right, lovey. So I'm all ready for church right now. I'll show you guys the full fit in a little bit, but this is the hair for today. I think it's looking cute. Um, yeah, I think it's good. So that is the hair. I have some earrings in. I have a hoop, and then I have a thing right here. And yeah, same thing on the other side. And now for the big reveal. So this is the big reveal. So the outfit is just this like kind of patterned brown shirt. And then um, we have these brown pants that are really like, they're really fancy pants. Yeah, you can barely see, it's kind of dark in here. And then we have the um, sandals-ish shoes. So yeah guys, we are all ready for church and I'm so excited. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys have a good day today. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.